I mean, what drives you every day? You do a lot. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for me, you got to realize I'm born in a very weird family. My mothers, they were communists. My dad, they were imperialists. And born and raised in Iran, you know, you, you don't have a lot. When my Dylan was asking me a question last week, he says, Dad, what was your dream when you were my age? I said, what's yours? He says, you know what mine is. Football, baseball, et cetera. I said, okay, cool. I said, when I was your age, at eight years old, I had one dream. The dream was to come to America. That's all it was. I didn't have a dream of being a doctor. I didn't have a dream of being an engineer, realtor, purely come to America. Well, that dream became a reality when, when we came to the States. And then for the longest time with my life, I'm just going, women, bodybuilding, partying, military, it's great. That, that's my life. Mm. And then one day I get out and I'm, I'm partying and my dad has a heart attack and I go to the hospital. My dad is uh, laying there at uh, UCLA Medical Center in LA and he's being mistreated in a way where they're not coming and servicing him. He's pressing a the button. They're not coming for 20 minutes. I go out there. So what are you guys doing? My dad's asking for help. So, excuse me, who are you? I said, I'm his son. He says, call security. They kicked me out. And a lady said the most magical thing. She says, you have no say at how we treat your dad here. This is a government paid hospital. You don't pay it here taxpayers are paying for this. It hit me. I said, okay, no problem. This is what it is. I went in the car. I sat in the car, my Ford Focus. I said, this will never happen again. So for me, it's changed. It was making my mom and dad proud. My dad wanted to go to Hawaii. I took him to Hawaii. I sent my sister to, to their honeymoon because they couldn't go to their honeymoon. It was a lot of that. Then it was about the car, the travel, the speaking, the personal pride, accolades, all that stuff. And then you make money, 2008, at this point I got money in the bank, I'm in my late 20s, I'm doing good in the insurance business, I'm known, uh, I'm not creating content, it's a very private, small industry I'm a part of. And suddenly I'm sitting there saying, okay, what's next? You're not gonna do it just for money. If it's for money, you'll slow down. If it's, if it's just for a house, you'll slow down. If it's for another watch, you'll slow down. These things are not exciting. 